Dr. Anil Gode. I'm a consultant in reproductive medicine, surgery and assisted conception at Fertility Plus and at the Hamilton Fertility Center. So today we move to a slightly different topic and look at the impact of cesarean sections on fertility. Why? Because I think a lot has changed in the last 10 to 15 years. Our rates of cesarean section have steadily increased and we have started seeing more complications of cesarean section and their, its impact on pregnancies at a later date in the past few years. So what are we trying to say? And this talk is about cesarean sections and IVF success. So a paper was published last year where it's asked the question, does previous cesarean section affect reproductive outcomes in women after IVF and ICSI? And what they noticed in that paper is there was a reduced pregnancy and a live birth rates after IVF in women with previous cesarean section, and it was a, a retrospective study. So it uh, certainly comes up with limitations. And why is this important is because sex, cesarean section rates have steadily increased. Life saving surgery as a part has also uh, has increased and it's known to have complications. In a population cohort study, what they had noticed is that after cesarean section, the pregnancy rates were lower. And there's some evidence to suggest that if, if a woman has a cesarean, it requires a slightly longer time to achieve the next pregnancy. So let's have a look at the material and methods. Again, a retrospective cohort study, secondary infertility with one previous delivery who underwent IVF and ICSI, day three and day five embryo transfer, 1,317 patients that underwent a cesarean section and a vaginal delivery in 983 patients. So if you look at the success rates, quite star startling, and, and look at the live birth rates in cesarean section, about 15.9%, while with the vaginal delivery following IVF was 23.3%. If you look at the miscarriage rates, 22% with cesarean section and 16.9% with vaginal delivery. Also, if you look at single embryo transfers, the live birth rate was around 16.7%, while that for vaginal delivery was 25%. So in effect, you're seeing a, a slight decrease in IVF outcomes in women who've had a previous cesarean section. So how do you compare it with previous studies? And there was a meta-analysis with 16 studies and it showed that the CS on an average reduced the chance of subsequent pregnancies by 9% compared to vaginal deliveries. And this study also suggested that a early implantation may be affected by cesarean section, but once an embryo implants successfully, the differences between the two groups in clinical and ongoing pregnancies did not change. There was another retrospective study which also gave a lower uh, birth rate after cesarean section and also indicated that if there was a, a niche, a gap in the lower segment scar, the pregnancy rates also continue to reduce. The question comes up is why? Uh, one, is there an incomplete healing process? Is there infection or adhesions uh, which may be occurring because that is a process of healing. And some studies have indicated uh, that there may be impaired tubal function from uh, the adhesions that may be occurring. Now, the cesarean section niche, and I think I've done a talk on this uh, in the past, and which is there's a gap in the, or a rent in the cesarean section scar, which is persistent. And in this study, remember this study has a smaller proportion of, of, of niches or scar dehiscences. It suggested that implantation near the niche uh, increased the miscarriage rate. 
And when the Nisha was present and, and retroverted, uh, in fact, if you maneuver the uterus to place the embryo closer to the fundus, probably you, you reduce uh, you uh, reduce the pregnancy risk because what you're trying to do is you're trying to use a tenaculum and and push the embryo down. In this study, around uh, ten percent of women with CS and Nishi had a lower uh, birth rate, where in fact with the vaginal delivery birth rate were much higher, and the uterine initia may have a detrimental effect on implantation procedures. And we'll have to be cautious about this because the study is much smaller. So in conclusion, what this retrospective study in its conclusion says is that if a woman has had a, a cesarean section and then follows it up with an IVF for ICSI, the implantation rates as well as the live birth rates tend to decline. Now, the question is, is this something which we can change? It's doubtful. You know, we certain so sections have increased over a period of time, but there's something which we have to bear in mind that whilst they, they are a necessary part, I think we should carefully evaluate uh, our, uh, how we plan to conduct certain sections and be aware that uh, these cases do have long-term complications. So, uh, you know, that's a short talk and that's a talk which is slightly different from uh, much of uh, our, our teaching. It's, it's looking at the impact of, or rather the obstetric impact of a Cezanne section on IVF and ICSI. And again, if you have uh, enjoyed these talks, so we are back trying to uh, get more uh, talks going. And uh, I thank you very much for listening.